Hi guys and welcome to another episode of A New Way to Museum. I'm Alicia and today we are going to talk about king snakes. So we have a couple king snakes here at the Sternberg Museum. Um, we have four and I have brought them here for you guys to meet. So two of them you've probably already met if you've watched our Animal Ambassador video, but we brought them out again today just so we can kind of talk about king snakes in general. So king snakes are super cool. Um, obviously they get their name for being king of snakes because they actually are known to eat venomous snakes such as rattlesnakes and stuff like that. So they are opportunistic eaters. They will eat anything. This one I bring out might try to eat me. It's fine, but they are almost immune to venom, but that really just is in their area. So our king snakes are immune to the rattlesnakes you can find around here, and it doesn't quite go the rest of the United States. So the first one I have is actually not called a king snake, and it's probably the most popular snake. It is called a milk snake. So ours is actually just a little one, and we will see if he tries to eat me. Or poops on me, either way it's cool. So he's obviously super tiny, so if he eats me, I think we'll be okay. You wanna go? A little crazy? Yeah? All right, so this is a milk snake. Um, they are obviously very brightly colored. They are typically this kind of red. He will get a little bit bigger, but not too much. Um, they can get about two feet long when they're fully grown. He's thinking about biting my hand, but he might not. So milk snakes, um, there is a snake called a scarlet king snake, and they look kind of like milk snakes. Um, and they are very well known for looking like the venomous coral snakes. So that's typically where people come to me and ask about king snakes is because they know about milk snakes. But a lot, a lot of people actually know that king snakes eat other snakes and that's why they're super beneficial. Um, we have three that you can find in this area of Kansas. We have the milk snake, we have the speckled king snake, and we have the prairie king snake. So we have all three of those here at the museum. But then we have a California king snake that we actually got from a volunteer who got it from a pet store. His tongue is just kind of sticking to the table. That's kind of funny. So yes, this is our milk snake. He does not have a name because we've only actually had him for about a month and a half to two months. And he is not liking us very much. But milk snakes are kind of just known for being a little bit crazy. Whereas other king snakes are known for being a little bit more docile. And that's actually why they can make really good pets. All right, so we're going to put this one away. Maybe. Oh yeah, now you bit me. I was going to say, I was going to be done. Devastated if you didn't bite me for camera. So like I said, we've only had that one for about two months. This next one we've had for about two years. Um, and he is still pretty small compared to how big he will get. And this is a prairie king snake. So being a prairie king snake, I bet you can imagine where you can find him. He is very brown and blends in very well with prairie grass and stuff like that. So when these guys are full grown, they can actually be about four feet long. So they do get a bit bigger. They do look a lot like other snakes you can find in Kansas. So you just kind of have to know your snakes to be able to identify them. So they're not venomous or anything. Oh, I think it's crazy. Like some of the other ones that kind of look like this, but they do resemble Great Plains rat snakes as well. So this guy, we got him when he was super small. He's grown like crazy. Um, he's generally pretty sweet. We don't do a whole lot with him. He does get to go to programs occasionally, but besides that, he kind of just sits here and represents his species and then eats lots of food. He's a very good eater. All right. Ooh, he's going crazy. All right, so these next two snakes you have met before if you've watched our meeting the ambassador video. So if you haven't, go check them out. So the first one we have is the speckled king snake. So she is still a snake that you can find here in Kansas. So this is Maisie. So I think she's grown like crazy since the last video we had of her. So yes, she is a speckled king snake. She will actually turn a year old in October. So that's actually when we found her as a hatchling. She is super sweet. Um, she goes to programs and all that stuff. She does get pretty overwhelmed by a bunch of kids trying to touch her. But besides that, you know, when that happens, she just poops on them and all is better. And I always find it nice and funny. So she is wonderful. She loves to eat too, but who doesn't? Thank you, Maisie. All right, and then our last one 
is one of our bigger ambassador species because <coughs> he does go to every birthday party, most of our programs, because he is such a sweet snake. So this is one that you cannot find here in Kansas unless it's at a pet store. So this is Oreo, the California king snake. When he's full grown, he will be about three to four feet long as well. So he's still got a lot of growing to do, but we got him super itty bitty. So to me, he's just ginormous now. He loves to eat. Um, he loves going to birthday parties and programs because he's very easy to handle. Oh, and he just loves to poop everywhere apparently. Thank you, that was very nice. Now I have to clean this. <laughs> so king snakes, like I said, we got him at a pet store. This kind of king snake does make a really good pet. They're super hardy. Um, they pretty much eat anything. And we like to call him the cobra because he does like to play cobra. And I do believe he has tried to eat our rattlesnakes before. He thinks he's big and bad, but. So yes, those are our king snakes. Like I said, king snakes are really cool and beneficial to have. <laughs> now he needs a bath too. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, just ask. Have a good day. Thanks for joining us in A New Way to Museum with the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. If you enjoyed this video, like it and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell for notifications when we release a new video. Support us on Patreon for early access and exclusive content. You can also follow us on all our social media. Links are found in the description. Thanks for watching and follow your curiosity to new discoveries.